Hello, I'm Andrew from 510 Books. Are you new to reselling books on Amazon, whether it's FBA or Merchant Fulfilled? Yes, you've kind of been around, but you're unsure or you've been testing the waters. Well, let me talk to you about how to scan a book or how to look up a book. I use scan because that's what most people probably search for on YouTube or on Google, but how do you look up a book to see if it's worth reselling on Amazon, let's say for FBA, for fulfillment by Amazon. Well, I've been reselling books through the FBA program since 2000, let's see, 14. Sent my first box off to an Amazon warehouse in September of 2014. So I'm about seven and a half years in doing that. So I do have some experience. So let's talk about the different types of books. So you've got your paperback, you've got your hardback. Um, most hardcovers will come with a dust jacket. And then some won't, but let's talk about, first of all, um, how to scan. So I'm using my phone to make this video, so I cannot show you my phone, but you have, of course, the ability to scan through your smartphone. Whether you're using an iPhone, whether you're using an Android, it doesn't matter. Um, which also, you have to decide what scanning application or scanning app you're gonna use for finding books. Amazon does have a free app. The, um, the Amazon, oh geez, of course I'm gonna blank on it, but the Amazon does have a, a selling app, a scanning app that I use in the beginning of my reselling career. And all you have to do is just hit the little icon for scanning and then it pops up and you can scan a barcode. You can also type in the ISBN, etc. I recommend getting a scouting app, um, a book scouting app or sourcing app that cost as little as $10 a month and sometimes a little bit more there's um, Scoutly, which is what I use. There's Scout IQ, which has become very popular. There's also other ones, but those are the two big ones. So those, like I said, I pay $10 a month for my for my membership to Scoutly. Below, you can see there's a link if you're interested in going to that. Um, that's an option. You don't have to. The second thing is you have to have a smartphone. You have to be able to scan through your smartphone. And you have to have downloaded some sort of app, whether the free one or a paid one. The second thing is, do you have a scanner, a Bluetooth scanner? Let me show you the one I have. This is, it's called EYOYO, funky name. Uh, this is the one that I bought last year. They've come out with a newer one, which I'm going to review um, later in another video. But this is the one that's really simple, just one button. It's tiny, fits in the palm of your hand. You can put it on the bottom of your phone. You can either uh, just hold it underneath your phone or you can get some, um, you can attach it to that, to your phone, however you want, or the case of your phone. So do you have a scanner? How much is a scanner? Around 40 bucks. I believe it's 40 bucks. Exactly. 39.99, something like that. But right around $40 when I purchased it, I believe it's around the same. Do you need it? No. Is it extremely helpful? Yes. Would you rather spend the $40 on finding books? Maybe. I don't know, but I recommend using it Again, it's not required, but it will make things go so much faster, especially if you are scanning actual barcodes and you've got hundreds, if not thousands of books to go through. It will speed up the process so much quicker because all you do is just point and immediately scans it and it pops up. The information pops up versus having to hit the icon on whichever scanning app you're using, sourcing app you're using, uh, having the window pop up hover it over the, the, the barcode, scan it. Now that doesn't take forever. It might take three to five seconds versus just within a second or so, you're, you're able to just keep going to the next book, the next book. Anyway, that's something to consider. So uh, newer books in the last few decades are for the most part, pretty much gonna have a barcode and an ISBN number. So let's show you a couple of books here. I've got some books laid out. There's three right here. This is considered a mass market paperback. This is like a trade paperback. This is a hardcover um, with a dust jacket. Now, all of them, barcode on the back with the ISBN above it. And this one has a, a barcode with the ISBN above it. This one also has a barcode with the ISBN above it, but I'll show you something else about that in a second. So, of course, take your scanner, point it, that actually stopped the video when I did that. But anyway, you point it and you scan it. Now, if you don't have a scanner, you just use your phone and, and hover it over the uh, barcode and just scan. And it'll pop in 
uh, pretty quickly it'll pop into the scouting app and show you all information that you need to decide whether to purchase it to resell it on Amazon. Now, let's see. You So you have two options. If it has a barcode, you should absolutely scan the barcode because it's faster. If it doesn't have a barcode, which these do, but if it doesn't have a barcode like this one, which is missing the dust jacket, it should come with the dust jacket, the works of Jane Austen, what you have to do is you have to open the page to copyright, sorry, the book, open the book to, so you can find it, the copyright page here, and lo and behold, ISBN. They usually start with 978, and this book is from 2006. Yeah, so you can take your um, scanning app. Now, I'm not sure if Amazon allows this or offers this, but with Scoutly and with Scout IQ, you can hit the scanning icon and then it'll allow you to scan an ISBN, which is a thinner little window, and it will read the numbers and it'll pop up really quickly. So that's faster than actually typing it in, which is used to be the way years ago. You would have to just hit the search the search uh, box and type in the long um, the long ISBN number. So you, that's another thing that's a, a benefit of using um, one of the scanning apps, paid scanning apps, I should say. ISBN. When did they start issuing ISBNs on books? 1970. Look it up. It stands for International Standard Book Number. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the barcode? So, um, yeah, so like I said, it's usually on the backside. However, funny enough, sometimes with dust jackets, this is not very common. Sometimes it'll be on the inside of the, of the dust jacket flap. So this one has it here, but sometimes you'll find it on the top here in the back or even on the bottom or in the front. I've seen them all over the place on the uh, dust jackets. Yeah, so keep that in mind as well. Another pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Mass market paperbacks. These are the smaller ones, right? These are smaller than the normal trade paperbacks. As you can see, this one's actually a little bit longer than, than most of them. And most trade paperbacks. So, you have a, yes, you have a barcode on the back, but do you know which barcode you should scan? This one on the inside of the front cover. Scan that one, and that'll show you the information. Okay? So keep that in mind as well. Should you scan mass market paperbacks? Sometimes. Sometimes no. When you're in the, when you're first starting, I say scan most of them. Why not? Especially if it's newer, you'd be surprised. You will find uh, some mass market paperbacks that are worth reselling. Some have just held their value for various reasons. There's demand, there's low supply, that type of thing. Uh, or it's a newer one if it's been issued or it's, I'm sorry, it's been published within the last maybe year to two years, especially within the last year. If it's 2021, probably uh, it's holding some value. It depends though. It always depends. You gotta look at the data for that one. Uh, let's see. Okay. And lastly, what about a book like this? It is a vintage old book called Skyways by Mitchell. So this one clearly is not going to have a barcode or an ISBN because this book is from, drum roll, a book on modern aeronautics by General William Mitchell. This is from 1930. Should you bother with these books? Well, that's not what this video is really about, 1930. Uh, I say yes. If you're not into it, uh, selling on eBay, these kind of books, which is where you probably should sell them. Got some cool photos from 1930. Um, then that's fine. But if you're into it, I would just type in into eBay, Skyways um, 1930, the year and then put the author, William Mitchell, and see what pops up. So if you just wanna quickly get through stuff that only has barcodes, don't even worry about that last book, but there's a lot of money to be made in older vintage classic books. That is something a little different than just selling on Amazon, but it's a nice little idea to keep in the back of your head, especially if you keep coming across a lot of older books. Not every book from the 1930s or that's you know 80 to 100 years plus old is going to be worth reselling. No way, right? But there are some that are and are definitely worth your time. 
and it takes it's a learning curve like reselling books through Amazon um, through FBA just keep that in mind so hopefully this helps you out a little bit I know it seems pretty simple you just scan the barcode but you got to consider you need a smartphone number one with a camera and you need an app to download and you need to decide whether you're going to buy a scanner or not it's not required if you're just kind of testing the waters a couple of months sending in some books but remember the more the quicker you can scan more books the quicker you will learn what books to actually send into amazon and sell there uh, instead of spending money on a you know hundred dollars worth of books and you only sell five or ten versus you know sending in a hundred books and maybe selling 40 50 of those within a month or two uh, and it just helps to go through a lot more books to get used to the data. So consider getting a scanner. If you are if you are wanting to buy a scanner, please click my link below. I have a link I have a link below on Amazon. Yes, it is an affiliate link. Um, doesn't cost anything else to you, but if you're going to buy it, you can buy it on Amazon for around forty bucks. Um, other than that, ask me any questions, comments about starting to. But how to scan books, how to look them up if you're new to FBA, because I have been doing this a while. A lot of things seem common sense to me, like, oh, of course you scan the barcode in the front of the cover of mass market paperbacks. Of course you just open up your scanning app and use the ISBN scanner, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, look inside the dust jacket, you know, things that you might not know. You look on the back of a book, it looks new or newer and there's no barcode and you just forget about it and keep going instead of just opening the the um the cover or you know with the dust jacket and seeing there's a barcode in there so just things to consider enjoy the video give it a thumbs up if it helped you out give it a thumbs up uh if you enjoy this kind of content subscribe to my channel i talk about a lot of things having to do reselling books and many a lot of other media as you can see i'm in my local store so reselling books and media locally in my store as well as on amazon and on ebay so definitely subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.